Today, looking at the microgrid, we have good examples of uh, decaying and growing fractals. Uh, the other day, we had seven down, very typical. Okay. Um, so at the bottom, at the top, the trend began to go up. Okay. By the way, we did catch the top and we did a trade right here. And we got about uh, 64 points. All right. What we're doing, we're catching, mapping the turns in the market. That's all you can do. And the fractals, when you do a trade, they are short in duration. Now, I did miss this one here that uh, occurred at uh, about 8 o'clock. I was checking my email. I missed it totally. Okay, so uh, when you detect a form right here, A, B, C, D, E, I am labeling the fractals for you. When you find a fractal like that, high probability is going to turn here. Okay, so the capital letter is the top. You got the top of the fractal here, and you got the bottom here. Okay, now I did point out a uh, another fractal here on the three minute time frame for day traders. Okay, you have to be uh, pretty quick to do this. Okay, but there are a lot of people who do this. Okay, here's the top, here's the bottom. Okay. That's a slider bottom, all right? And when it broke the bottom here, the trend continued to go down. Uh, overall today, a little bit early to uh, find a discovery. We do have a double top here on the 15 minute time frame. okay? That would be bearish. Now, looking at the other time frames down here, okay? we have a possible slider top. Now, you can't act on it until you get that lag and you get a, a break. Okay, what's a break and how do you enter? Right here, okay? When the fractal terminates, uh, it begins to decay. That's where you enter. You put your stop up there, okay? And as the trend continues, uh, you capture your five or ten points. All right. Or you lower the stock. So right now, uh, we don't have anything clear, uh, but we could look at, uh, I wanted to point out, the long-term uh, trend line from 2002 on the five-hour time frame here. Okay, we have a typical growth fractal. Okay, A, B, C, D, E. Well, I mislabeled that. Anyway, uh, this is indicating growth. Okay, now it's uh, touching that trend line from uh, 2022. Um, it could begin to grow, however, then it could decide based on a wind, on the weather, maybe rain, it could begin to decay. And that would uh, point to uh, a good turn on a long-term basis. So keep your eye on the 11-hour time frame there. That will help you, guide you through the markets. The other time frames, um, now, we're on a macro grid, okay? So, you know, in order to uh, do what I'm doing here, you need the 24 charts uh, on your monitor, okay? Again, you need 24, 24 charts on all the time frames. You need to find out if uh, a fractal is appearing on these different time frames, okay? Um, 
they just kind of pop up. All right. So right now we can't do anything um, until we find nothing in a one minute time frame. But I wanted to point out here's a very typical frequent decaying fractal. Okay, so uh, if you did a trade here at uh, 88, you went down to 75, you got your 5 or 10 points, you exit and wait for another discovery on another time frame. Okay, it's all based on a time frame. And we're looking constantly here. And right now, we really don't have anything um, except we have a d double top there. Um, if you're into double top there, uh, do a trade here at the uh, 88, you stop, and you do a short. Um, that's based on old school. Okay, uh, you got you know, double tops, triple tops, head and shoulders, and all that stuff. But uh, this one here is telling us, for the time being, as of now, okay, the market is decaying. Now, if we go above here, E, uh, the trend may continue to go up, but I want a clear fractal in order to do a trade. Okay, again, we have all day long. Oop, now, now we're going back up again. We're up, uh, wow, 47 points. Okay. Um, the uh, ideal time to enter was actually uh, last night right here. Okay, but uh, trading during night, uh, generally that market goes sideways, but this one just kept going up. I didn't do the trade on this one here, too. Okay, so uh, this uh, particular growth fractal is indicating growth. Now, look what's happening here. Uh, we're probably getting a little bit higher. Um, no entry points yet. Uh, we broke the middle top so much for uh, tec technical analysis. You know, throw, throw that out the window, huh? Okay. So uh, we'll keep uh, looking at the fractals. But again, uh, if you find this uh, particular fractal, on any time frame, any market, okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, the top, okay, uh, it's a top, okay. Do you hold on to the trade? No. Look what's going to happen if you're going to hold on to the trade. You can wipe out all your profit, all right. So the practical trades uh, are going to be short. Hank Wardicki, signing off.